and welcome back to the second part of this tutorial I'm going to exit and let's come right down here now the next lot of widgets that I'm going to take care of now is going to be a text widget so let's say self again just copy that paste that here self dot let's just say reset equals text and this text is right inside receipt I have a frame called receipt if you guys can see recall right up there receipt underscore button is called let me show it to you guys take it up so that you see that there we go receipt underscore button frame that is the receipt so that's the frame that I'm going to be using for the receipt and I've also it's also using a label frame and in there it's called details okay so let's take it down and continue so that is my receipt frame there and it's going to be to be I said the width is going to be about 180 and the height is going to be let's say 10 equals 10 comma font I'm going to make that about maybe 10 as well copy paste change this to 10 and okay set that receipt to get rid of this it should be a t it's a safe dot receipt dot grid it's going to be on row one and column zero equals zero and no, I, I can just say row zero, sorry. Row zero, column zero. Let's get it to span, column span. I made that about four equals four because the buttons will be right underneath. Yeah. So let's run it and see how that's going to look like. There we go. This is how it looks now. But one thing I like to do is you see right at the top there I would like to add title. So let's add the title first. Receipt dot insert. So let's come in. So receipt dot insert. And what I want you to insert is going to be first of all we say end comma and the first one is going to be student space ID let's say tab tab two tabs followed by first name and let's enter two tabs as well surname two tabs yeah address Now I'm going to add two tabs again. Postcode. Tab, tab. Uh, student loan. Student. Student loan. Tab, tab. Let's use that to add a space and continue with the rest here so this one is going to be tab that would be telephone right now tab tab date tab 
tab again then let's go for degree tab u l n number tab tab and finally next of king tab new line close that there right uh, if I run it now let's see how this is going to look like go to run there we go there look at that guys that's all oh, those are my titles all right that's fine looking good and finally for the widget the next thing I would like to do now maybe draw a line here first and I'll create my buttons and here I'm just going to enter buttons okay first button there's going to be about four of them in total the first one is going to be self dot btn receipt okay that's fine btn receipt equals widget button and this widget button is going to be inside receipts button frame right there okay I'm gonna put a border here let's say B G equals maybe about seven and let's enter let's copy this let's enter fonts there then width equals maybe 13 what about the text on it let's say text equals receipt text equals receipt Let's close that and say dot grid and that's going to be on roll roll one. Yeah, it's gonna be roll one. Copy and paste that. Change this to one and the column is gonna be zero. Let's get it parted. That's just to give a space. Adding, let's make that about 12. Right, I'm going to save it now and let's try it out. There we go, that's my buttons there. Okay, what I'll then do is just copy these very buttons. I need four of those and just change the column two, three, four right now the columns will be zero one one two three and i'll just change the names around and there we go guys there all my buttons are ready in fact the design of the interface is all ready now so we just need to ch start changing names around this is going to be known as exit so this will be btn exit this will be print btn print and finally btn reset and reset right here there so let's run it now there we go guys but none of these buttons are doing anything okay now let's try to get them to do something so I'm gonna exit out let's come right up here and write some functions right here 
so I'm just going to call the functions copy this yeah so I'm going to change this to functions okay just using it to separate so that there won't be any confusion all right that's for the functions the first function that I'm going to take care of would be that of exit so let's say function definition exit there then it's going to be I for I exit equals take enter dot that's going to be message box message box double click on that dot ask ask yes no yeah yes or no and in here I'm just going to enter the title that's going to be student record system close that comma and the message for the end user is going to be confirm if you confirm if you want to exit there that's my message for my end user maybe add a question mark there there we go now use an if statement if I exit greater than zero Then we want you to destroy i exit had to be greater than zero okay so any number is greater than zero so let's say destroy dot root dot destroy enter parenthesis and let's just ask it to return there we go now you see this function here i'm going to call that function i've already copied it come right down here and look for button exit look at button exit right there and in there I'm going to enter a comma a comma right here and let's say command equals I exit so that is taken care of if I run the program now click confirm if you want to exit no confirm if you want to exit yes so exit is taken care of now the next thing I like to do is let me take care of print that is the order of the day print it's easy to take care of so let's take care of that but before you can take care of the print you must make sure you import temporary file and the operating system so right underneath here I'm going to declare another method or function I'll call that I print there we go and in the case of the I print I will declare a local variable and just say Q equals self dot txt reset dot get one dot zero comma end dash one c there now i'm going to ask it let's say file file name equals temporary file temp file dot mk mkt okay you see make temporary file be careful because there's another one make temporary d uh, make d temporary so but the one i want is make temporary file mk temp all right so the temp file that i want to use is going to be a text file you can always use word document file the choice is yours so let's say open 
and what I want you to open is going to be the file name comma write dot write and what you want to write is in Q now the operating system dot start start file and the file is going to be the file name comma command print there we go those are the lines of code for my print this very one okay all we need to do now is to test this out but before we can test it out we must call the function print inside the button print here so let's come in here I'm gonna copy this yeah and just there right that is it I've called command print and let's come right in here try it out save first I'm just gonna click on print there we go guys look at it now printing but as, as you know there's nothing there no server no printing server okay that is fine now let's take care of reset we are almost there so where is the reset okay I'm going to take care of that right underneath here and I'm going to call that I reset as well I reset okay for my reset let me start by resetting the name name dot set there followed by saw name dot set what about the address dot set there and so on there those are my lines of code for reset there they are up to here okay those are the variables that I've reset and here and now reset the the entrance widget to disable why the combo box and now as the value is now zero okay there's one more thing I would like to do in here and that would be to write a function that will reset okay and I would like this function reset as well copy that and paste that right underneath here there this function is actually for random number generator that I will use for the student student ID so if I copy this now you see the student and the variable is going to be student actually I think I have it there already there we go okay but nothing you guys won't see anything yet Let, let's run it and you see nothing will happen now but okay let's let's assign this onto my reset button here comma reset let's add a command to it there okay let's get rid of this there now we try this out let's come in here run the program and see there we go you see this address and postcode are similar that's why you see them appear here I've used the same variable for them okay let's just see what's going to happen now we need some function to make this work reset there we go that's fine all right okay so i think uh, you see the reset i don't seem to like what happened because the reset just he didn't ask me to check if I'm sure if I want to reset or not look at what's going on just like this if I click on this it says confirm if you want to exit but if I click on this there all gone well 
I'm going to change it and let it take this format. Okay, for now, I'll call it the end of the second part of this tutorial and I'll see you guys shortly.